always get the front seat, eh? It's a pig in the gully and the dog's on his trail. We go, we go. It's a pig in the gully and my dog's on his tail. We go, we go. There's a pig in the gully. Morning folks, cruising with Stephen here and the last time we were together oh, a few months back and we went fishing and he said to me, oh I don't fish, I'm not a fisherman. Well we got six fish that day and I'll tell you he caught five of the bastards so we generally is one of those guys that always produces something so I do believe there will be some blood on our knives today. If you don't like that sort of thing don't watch the video but uh, if you do come with me. Put down here 120 inches, just done a circle. The other dog's back in. Just down here. The breeze is coming across the side. So she's working this face and getting that breeze coming down. Rooting all down here. Heaps. Dogs are over here. Dogs are 300 metres across the galley, tracking a pig. Right up in there. With that bit of uh, clearing is just above that. Dogs are holding a pig down here. They've been tracking this pig for a while. They've finally pulled it out. There's a pig in the gully and the dog's on his trail. We go, we go, there's a pig in the gully and my dog's on his tail. We go, we go, there's a pig in the gully and I'm waiting for a bell. We go, we go, go on there. Pig in the gully and my dog's got his number. Where you go? Where you go? He be barking loud. Sounds like thunder. Where you go? 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 Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dog, B. How do you be? How do you? Good dog, B's. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog, B. Good dog. Good dog, B. Good dog, Poe. Yelly Poe. Yelly Poe. Good dog. Good dog. Good dogs.
Leave it. Fuck. It's another good pig for B. Good tracking too. I said to Possum, we're not going to get that pig. Because they tracked for bloody miles and they actually tracked and stopped it. Oh. B doesn't want a pet. He's not a pet, he's a pig dog. This pig is not in great condition. Well, it's skinny, we can catch better eating pigs, but it's really amazing. They actually stopped it. I said to Possum, we're not going to catch that pig. They're tracking it for miles and they've tracked it and tracked it and tracked it in the wet with a sense of shit in the rain. And they actually caught up and stopped it. So um, yeah, she's she looks fat, but she's not she's not in really good eating neck. And it took us a wee while to get down to her too, didn't it, mate? Yeah, yeah wee while. Like. Probably about ten minutes to get to it. So she's got a bit of bruise, mate. I'm I'm not really in a hurry to carry it out of you. It's not worth him catch catch better meat than this, eh? Oh yeah, no need to take it. Get something with condition on it, not it. Yeah. So I don't often leave meat on the hill, but yeah, she's just too skinny and dog. So, uh, but good practice for the pups. Well, the pup at least, my pup. And he stayed with Poe and the other two main dogs are possum, so really good outcome as far as his training goes. He's just working so well. I've got a lot of hope for this dog, I really have. He's not doing anything stupid at all so far. Good boy, B. <laughs> he just wants to do his own thing. Good dog, B, hey, good boy. Good dog. He doesn't fight with other dogs, he's placid. Be come, be come. And he doesn't want to come. Be come, be come. Doesn't want to, he doesn't want to pat or anything. He's not like most, you know, dogs. Be come, be come, be come, be come. Good boy, be come, be come. Good boy. That's a good dog, eh? Good dogs. Busy heard something there, eh? Yeah. yeah, they're still going up there, Poss. Oh, they they, they tracked across. See there? See where we are now? Oh, they've gone over this. Bit of fresh rooting in here. Right in there. Got Poe. Got all my dogs up there. About 125 right now. It's been a pick around here. This is all fresh in here. We're in the right place. Big pig, but a pig. That's a promising shape there. Poe going up into the circle. It's looking good. That's Poe. in here from Poe. Well it's not a big pig but it's a pig for B and it's Sonia's third pig. All good practice. So uh, at least he knows what target species is now. I can start stop proofing my rabbits and shit. So while we've got this pig here, bloody Brunny Got a possum tree just up here. I'd say that's your last chance hunting with me. She's done it three times now while the dog's getting a pig. She's chasing a possum. You can hear it up the tree. Po <laughs> Stephen's, you can hear it. Stephen's laughing. Fuck. Where's Bryn gone? Just at the bottom of the tree trying to get the possum. Fucking possum up here. Right with the dogs to go to pig and Bryn's fucking training a possum. 
I zapped B on it, and I vibrated Bryn, she's, she's gone. Be come, be come. Don't touch that. Here they come. Don't you touch, mate. Bryn, leave it. Bryn, come. Going to get a possum. Mm. Oh. Think you know well, eh? got chicken, possum, and pig. <laughs> yeah, I've got a chicken on the hill coming over. Somebody left their chicken on the side of the hill, so I pulled over to, to kill it because it's winter and it's going to have a miserable winter. There's a lady there trying to feed it and she was telling me off. Why oh, don't kill the chicken? I said, well, it's going to have a fucking cold winter. Yes, so far we've got a, a small pig, a chicken, and then a possum. What's, what do we need now? Sheep. Okay, baby. I've got the dogs to do it, apparently. Up a tree? No, 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 oh. no, no, good mate, no, never happened. No, oh. that. no thank God. We have done, I've, I've done, um, these guys haven't had, because we've got sheep at home, mm. I run them through them all the time, so it's kind of good. Not to say though, not to say, you know. Oh, no, no. It can still happen. Maybe some decent. Yep. Yeah, everybody's uh, done a bit of wolf, wool classing at some stage. Mm. Yeah, no, she's gone back to that pig actually, where that dog is. Uh, Probably gone to actually chew the guts out of it. The pig was just too chewed, all that many dogs on it. Small pig that size, no meat to harvest. Bit of a bugger. Jeez, big old boars towed that up. Get in the guts of it. Mm. Dog's chasing a pig down here. The guys are Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. reasonable pig. Yeah, pig. It's just taking his time. There he goes. Fuck, he's miles there, the dogs. That was a good pig. Oh, there they are, they're tracking him now. They're posed in front. They're tracking him. That's a good pig. Oh, yeah. There goes uh, that little wee one. <laughs> I've brought the scale up to 180 so you can see where the bore is because there's only a spot in the camera and I've slowed it down to 20% and highlighted it for you. There he goes, just disappearing into that scrub there. Now Poe is coming up behind him, probably about 10 to 15 seconds behind. You just see now there's Poe in the middle there, I haven't highlighted it but you can see it pretty clearly. And you can see the old rat pack following behind. I think it's Pace behind her, followed by B and then the little dog Brinny. Here's Stephen's dog busy making fast ground, closing the gap on my dogs. Now let's go to GoPro. Bail up down here. Good pig. Scrap gun up.
ってるから Thank you for that bio. My belt. Get up, pal. Get up, pal. Get up, pal. Good dogs. Good boy. Good boy, B. You lost your knife. Bagger. Okay. Wasn't it good time, was it? Oh. Good girl, Poe. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Let B have a bit of a chew on that. Good boy, B. Good boy. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good boy, B. Ah, oh, must have fallen out somewhere. Oh. <laughs> That's a really good result. Pace only got ripped up on Sunday. There's that today and he's back into it. That's a good boar. Good size boar. Biggest one I caught this year. Really nice chompers on him. Leg thick shield, good condition. Lucky I got possum with me because I'm not allowed to carry more than 5k possum. I'm not allowed to carry more than 5 kilograms, I'm sorry. Doctor's orders. Baker. Might be able to carry it. I wanted to, but just not allowed to. <laughs> There's gotta be some some upside to being crooked, isn't there? Well, I'll try. <laughs> How big you reckon that is, bud? Oh, like a hundred pounds, honey. Easy. Easy, hundy. You have a hundy. And the Golden Downs, it's 180. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you lost your knife. Good girl, Poe. So the knife that Possum's using here, folks, is made by Simon Walker. It's high carbon steel. I don't know how sharp it is. Hopefully sharp enough for Possum. But uh, Simon makes these knives. They've got a matte eye handle. And a steel he gets from Sweden. Sharpen up for you, mate. Yeah, it's good. It's pretty good, eh? I gave uh, Stephen Forsyth's son one for being just an we have each year. Each boy gets one of those for sort of in the field what they do. He won it last year. 
they're an expensive knife. And by the time you pay for the sheath and everything, there's not much change out of 400. Oh, I might win one. You might win one. <laughs> well, you're a pretty handy boy, but you just might be a wee bit outside the age bracket. It's under 16. <laughs> I want to show you pig hunters, this is a really good trick. Possum's got a collar on here to hold it, he's got a swivel on here, so it turns. So what you get is inevitably you get this this twisting round, so this stops it. It's called a pig and string. And I'm standing right in dog shit, fuck me dead. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Ah, Jeez. Ah, that's right. Mm. So if you haven't got a pig and string, that's what you need for pulling big balls out. I'll oh, grab your stuff, possum. You carry on, mate. I was tracking another pig, and Pace isn't with it, and I think the reason is he might be a wee bit hurt. He's got a wee nick under there. And he's got a wee tag down there. Otherwise, fine. You're a good boy, aren't you? Good boy, Pace. Oh, he's alright. Tail wagon. When I arrived here yesterday, uh, Kim had this boar that she caught, she'd gone off, she only had surgery a couple of days ago and she'd gone out and shot a bloody pig, which is a nice eating pig, now we're going to put this one on the uh, truck, and Possum and I are saying what weight it is, I'm saying 110 and Possum saying 100, and he's probably closer to it because I didn't have it on my back, but it looks like 110 to me, it's quite a skinny pig, there's not a lot of tucker up there right now, Possum was saying he's actually found two pigs dead up there probably died of starvation because there's been no rain or anything. But we'll get on the hook and see just how much it weighs. <laughs> Have a guess. <laughs> 110. And I, I know that he knew it was 110 as well, because we're up the hill and he says, yeah, it'll be 100. And I said, no, it's more than that. And I get down the track and I said, no, it's 110. He goes, yeah, no, 110. I said, hold on a minute. You said 100 back there, so you stick to it. So you knew that it was going to be 110, didn't you? But you couldn't. Am I right? Go, couldn't go back. You couldn't go back, yeah. We both called it, to the, called it to the pan. So there we go. Brenny. Capo. Beat. Pace. Beat. Po. Ebony. This pulley system I'm using comes from Karaka products. And it locks in, so when you're pulling up, you do one man at a time. You don't need another bloke, you just like lock it like that. It's a four to one ratio. So if you're a skinny little bastard like me, you can easily pull an animal up that weighs more than your own weight. You get where you want to get it. Good old chompers on him there. Do damage to dogs. So I'll be running my knife straight down the middle here. And I'll be coming out the inside of each leg. Right down to here. And the outside of the leg here and here and trying to keep the skin. There's a shield on that, like quite a thick shield. So I'll need to flesh some of that off later on. Not for Bernie. So we're down to the uh, shield now. I could have actually left a bit more on here. Just bringing that down. And you can see the meat's bruised pretty bad by the dogs. This is a reason that we do skin our pigs most of the time because you can't tell what's underneath on the flesh until you take the skin off. And that's why I don't scold even this neck. Chops here being a wee bit held by something a bit of bruising meat in there. So we'll carry on down, and no, Bruni, you're not going to get in there, mate. I know you like to have a chew on it, but no. Good deal. So we've uh, got most of his back clear. Get down to his bum now and we're just about to take his pants off the bottom 
I haven't cut across here, I've just left it one big, like one giant big sock. Once I've got it off, I'm gonna decide where's the best cut to get the most skin out of it. So I smash the skin off this. Got plenty of meat, not a lot of fat on it. Pretty lean animal. Uh, we lost a wee bit where the dogs chewed the front. But uh, it's gonna be dog tucker anyway. These are all good. Back straps, rumps, all good. Now there's plenty of chomping and chewing there. I'll show you the skin, how it looks. When I come, I haven't done a lot of skinning this way. It's kind of new to me, because I generally just don't keep the pig skins, or I cut them up and make my dog chews. Here's the skin here on the, uh, stretched out in the old fridge I keep my dog tucker in. It's quite a bit, um, bit of skin on it. It's quite a big, when you stretch it out, you realise just how much it is. Of course it will shrink a bit. I've got to flesh it out. Got to flesh this off still. But uh, we'll get a pig skin out of it. I didn't get as much tail off as I would have liked to. It kind of broke off, but that's alright. Yeah, and I've got the ears on too. Not sure if I'm going to leave them on or not. I can always take them off later. So there it goes. Hasn't got a massive mane on it. But uh, it'll go nice in front of the fireplace. Not sure how I'm going to cure it. Whether I'll just salt it and put a bit of kerosene and rub it down, stretch it out, or whether I'll make it into a soft leather. I'll probably just salt it, I think. Stretch it out and leave it like that. Less work. Okay, he's looking for rats outside and so is Pace. Anyway, I want to wrap this video up. Before I do, I want to show you guys what my most favourite cut is of wild pork. You're going to be surprised. Most of you pig hunters are probably thinking, oh, it'll be the undercut or the back straps. Hmm. Guess again. Ribs. I love the ribs, eh? The baby back ribs, spare ribs. Good chomping and chewing. You can like cut them up, cook them whole, put rubbings on them, do them so many different ways. Smoke them. They're really good. Yeah, the, the rump's good too, but I love the ribs. So the rest of that pig is now chopped up in little bags in the fridge and freezer. Back strap, shoulder, virtually all of it except for a couple of hocks that got damaged by the uh, dogs. Now the pig that Kim shot the first day got the little boar, I dropped that off at Arwee's house on the way home, and by yesterday morning, by nine o'clock, she'd skinned it, cut it all up, bagged the whole lot, and put it in her fridge and freezer to feed her family, and I was still mucking around on my pig till three o'clock in the afternoon, farting around, so she's pretty good with a knife. Thanks a lot, Kim and Possum, for having me. It was just what the doctor ordered, you know, I've been hunting the last five weeks catching just small stuff and I was really getting a bit, oh jeez, come on dogs, we're having so much bad luck and then boom, a really good boar and that adrenaline just like gets you going again. Sometimes you need that adrenaline buzz when you're sort of struggling with stuff and I really, I felt so good on the hill even though I'm only like nine and a half weeks out of surgery, I didn't hurt too much, if I did I was ignoring it and it really was good to get out and breathe the air and just have a fantastic hunt with Possum. Thanks for organising it Kim. We'll see you guys again soon. Good luck with all your own hunting out there, your dogs, whatever form of hunting you're doing or fishing and gathering your meat. I hope it's going well for you. Thanks for supporting my Patreon. I'll see you soon. Be good. If you can't be good, be careful. See you later. I think we're going to have the dogs inside tonight because there's a few rats in the house and Poe, she just catches them pretty good. Poe, in your box. In your box. That's her box right there. Good girl. Sit. Stay. Pace, you get on the mat too. Po, get in your box. Stay. Good night, Po. There's a pig in the gully and the dog's on his trail. We go, we go. There's a pig in the gully and my dog's on his tail. We go, we go. There's a pig in the gully and I'm waiting for a bell. We go. Where you go, go on there.